verse 1, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you indeed is not troublesome to me. Watch out for those dogs. Watch out for those dogs, those evil doers. Guard yourself from mutilators of the flesh. For it is we who are the circumcision, we who, who by the Spirit serve God and glory in Christ Jesus, and who put no confidence in the flesh. Well, so then when it says here, guard yourself from the dogs, is speaking of the apostles. This is a bit strong, this application, but we understand from what we've read that when he spoke like that, he was referring, he was referring to Peter, those of the circumcision. Who was the chief of circumcision? Well, Peter, John, James, those were the leaders of circumcision. That is why when Titus spoke uh, and says that to protect yourself from evil doers, especially those of circumcision, which subvert whole households. So they think that by circumcising the body, they qualified or step it up a, a spiritual in a spiritual way. Uh, but Paul says here, if you want to circumcise yourself for physical reasons, but not religious reasons, well, you can for health reason, but if you circumcise yourself thinking you're going to please God, there's where the problem lies. Because Paul says that we are the true circumcision, those that serve God in spirit and have no confidence in the flesh. Here, it also says to guard yourself from evil doers, even amongst us, some sneak in and abuse the beloved and they shear the blood the, the 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 beloved and utilize the beloved for their own benefit you must protect yourself from them they should not be collaborating if they don't know how to deal with the beloved of the lord if they don't have the delicacy to pro to protect and and to nourish the way they should, the beloved, they should step down. So here it also says to guard yourself from mutilate, mutilators of the body. And I've explained myself, those of the circumcision. Well, and almost always, and almost always, when Paul referred to dogs, well, a dog, there are dogs that are dangerous. More if they, if they have rabies. And these were dogs that were rebellious not only they persist but they try to judaize those that paul had won over so they can keep the jewish traditions and you have to protect yourself from that you have to protect yourself from the evangelical dogs that baptize people and they give you a piece of bread and say this is the body of christ they say oh this is the symbol of the blood of jesus for the forgiveness of sin they do not honor the sacrifice of the cross of Calvary. They consider the blood of the covenant uncleansed when they say that sin still exists. But they dare to eat a piece of bread and drink some wine and say this is the body of Christ. So then there are dogs that are evangelicals, uh, Catholic dogs. Those are the most dangerous because from there... On account of those dogs, a lot of harm has been caused in the nations. Harm t has been caused to the world on account of those dogs because it says here that they're evil doors, evil doors, fraudulent workers that disguise themselves as ministers of God and deceive the naive. So there is a warning to guard yourself from them. 